by showing that uh, they're just not an easy family to live with, as you found out. We've had things our way so long that maybe, well, maybe it got in the way of our being just people. I guess you don't have no reason to really care, but I want to keep my family together. I don't want to lose another son. Why didn't you tell me? Why, Miss Ellie? You heard. Why didn't you tell me? I was afraid to. Of what it would do to you. When are you going to understand, woman? When? That I'm all right. Damn it, Ellie. Both of them. Why? It's not certain, John. There's still a chance. The search is on. Somebody better call the sheriff before I blast these two slobs. No, Jock. We have to let him go. Let him go? Somebody tell me what's going on around here? Trust me, we can't involve the law. All right, get up. Get out! You two punks ever show your face around here again? I'll kick you. Now get out of here! I've already notified Earl McCready that you'll be joining the search. Now, you won't be able to see much before daylight. Yes, sir. Evidently, the homing beacon's not on, meaning it's out or lost. Or Johnny's hurt too bad to set it in operation. But there's one more signal that I want you to look out for. I used to spend a lot of time with J.R. fishing, hunting, when he was a kid. The one thing that I drilled into him was how to signal for help if he was ever out alone, lost, or hurt. Three of anything, Ray. Three. Shots, fires, mirror flashes. That's what I want you to watch out for. I'll keep my eyes open. Anything else, sir? Yes. No matter how it turns out. Dead or alive. Bring my boys home. I will, Jock. Thank you, Ray. Looking for me? Come in. You know, that's uh, <clears throat> quite a girl you got there. Does she sing as good as she looks? You bet she can, sir. I like to hear. It's been quite a while since Miss Ellie and I have been out on the town. We're about due for a spree. Sit down. Thank you, sir. There's a lot we got to talk about anyway. Seeing you, that girl, made me wonder, well, just what sort of plans you might be making for the future. Well, I'm gonna marry her, if that's what you mean, sir. Oh, when? As soon as I can talk her into it. You know how women are these days, pretty damn independent. <laughs> well, I'm not trying to pry, Ray, I no, just... Sir. No, that thought never crossed my mind. I've been meaning to tell you about this anyway. I'm just sort of waiting until things are a little more official. Yeah. Well, what I'm trying to get at is when you do marry, what about South Fork? Are you planning on leaving? I don't think so, sir. I, I mean, it's, it's real hard to say. Well, I was going to give you this in a couple of months anyway. Celebrate your being here 20 years. That's a whole section of prime South Fork land at the northern end. Jock, I, uh... <laughs> you were the skinniest kid of 15 that I ever saw in my life. No doubt about my hiring you. I knew you'd stick around and work your tail off. That's just to make sure that you will always want to do just that, Ray. 
whatever happens in the rest of your life. Thank you, sir. Miss Ellie and I have had a long talk, and we think that you should hear what I've got to say. You're listening, J.R.? Yes, sir. During the war, I served in London. And I had an affair with an army nurse named Margaret Hunter. Now, when I was shipped home, I confessed this to Miss Ellie. She forgave me for that. But what I didn't know was that I had fathered a child by Margaret. I found that out yesterday. I have a fourth son. Ray. Welcome to the family, boy. She think for one damn minute we'll let him get away with this. Oh, come on, Dad. This is just Barnes's cheap way of getting revenge on this family. Revenge? Spring our good name. Just as bad as that drunken daddy of his. Yeah, what do you expect from a Barnes? Speaking of a Barnes, I don't see Pam. Suppose she's gone down to hold that little brother's hand. She went to try and talk some sense into him. Yeah, she should have saved her breath. Whatever talk is necessary, we're going to do it in court. Court? Nobody's talking about court. Man. It's all right. We're going to sue him for every dime he's got. We're going to break his back. Daddy, I... I don't think court's the way we should handle this situation. No, no, I, I think Bob's right, Dad. And we gotta thank Sue Ellen. She's still not well. A court case like this could send her right back to the sanitarium. Man, I just can't believe you two. Especially you, J.R. When I was a young man, anybody say anything about your mama like that, I'd have killed him. Dad. <laughs> Sue Ellen? Good morning. Have you seen this? I saw it on a newsstand at the airport. Well, don't you worry about it. We'll take care of Cliff Barnes. Nobody is going to talk about the Ewings and get away with it. What are you going to do about it? Well, one thing for sure, we can't kill him. I'll guarantee you one thing before we get through suing him, he'll wish that he'd never messed with us. Well, don't you think that that's going to make the scandal worse? How in the hell is it going to be any worse than this? I still don't understand why Cliff would do something like this. Revenge, that's why. Well, J.R. came down pretty hard on him yesterday. I told you that you have to leave a man some dignity. I still think that we should ignore all this. No one's going to believe it anyway. They'll talk about it for a while, and then they'll forget it. So I uh, might be right, J.R. Truth's on our side, isn't it? Well, uh, I don't know why you should even ask. Of course it is. And what do we got to worry about? We'll take him to court, and we'll prove it. That boy, J.R.'s son. Now, I'm going to call Horace Smithfield, tell him to meet us at the office. Will he... Will he live? Do you really care, Sue Ellen? Chalk. Where were you last night? It doesn't matter now. It damn well does matter. Your husband may be dying, and you're out gallivanting around someplace. I wasn't gallivanting. Then where were you? Sue Ellen was sick. Sick? You mean drunk? Isn't that right, Sue Ellen? Yes. Yeah, I was right. The LB hadn't done you a bit of good. You need to be back in that sanitarium. Are they going to open please. me up, Ellie? He's not sure. But they're bringing the best cardiac surgeon in the state. How's things going at home? Same as usual. Except Bobby's working with Ray. He's filling in till you get back. Well, that's good. You know, Ellie, sometimes I worry. I, I don't think I've been a very good father. Yes, you have. Gary pulling out. Drifter. Maybe I could have done better by him, but... Didn't know how. Jock, don't. Look at JR. He may get on your nerves once in a while, but he's done wonders for you in oil. 
a natural born businessman. And Bobby's working the ranch. I like that. Maybe that's the way to solve the whole problem. Maybe. Ellie, if anything happens to me, you keep the family together, you hear? Nothing's going to happen. Promise me. It means a lot. To me, too. <laughs> Remember when my daddy didn't give us five years together? <laughs> Sometimes I think he was right. We were both so headstrong. Well, we raised a family, and we're still together. We've had a good life, Ellie. We still do. Jock? Anything wrong? Decision's decision. Is it Bobby and JR again? No. Just no? Ellie, I, uh... Jock, tell me what's bothering you. I'd like to help. What time is it? About 3 o'clock. Take a long time. I have the rest of my life to listen to you. I love you, Ellie. I always will. You know that, don't you? 